Uh, we are here today for a, the first advisement on a show cause uh, citation issued by the Court of Appeals. And the court today set the case for a hearing uh, in February and assigned the case to a senior judge who's going to rule on motions issues and evidentiary issues. And uh, we're pretty excited about our day in court. Uh, what did not happen today, uh, we did not enter any plea, neither of guilty nor uh, not guilty, because there's a lot of legal issues surrounding the, the definitions of some of the phrases used in the orders at issue. Um, well, that was pretty simple then, huh? <laughs> pretty simple day. Yeah, the court set out the, the what's going to happen next and then deferred a lot of uh, issues to the, to the judge who's actually going to preside. So the city of Colorado Springs essentially wants to get a search warrant to search its political opponent's computers. And the court today deferred ruling on that and said, we're not going to rule on it. The, the judge who's going to hear this case will have to decide whether or not you, the city of Colorado Springs can do that. Personally, I find it offensive that a government entity wants to search the computer of a political opponent. Um, and I look forward to briefing that and fighting for Ms. Wise's rights. Anything else you guys want to talk about today? Just uh, overall, how are you feeling about the case? No, I'm not no. going to comment on that. Not going to comment on that. No. Um, I mean, I feel great. I, she's innocent. She didn't. She didn't do anything wrong. Um, you know, that's what this is for. I believe in the system. I believe in due process, and I absolutely believe that once the issues are briefed and the court actually understands the facts as they're applied to the law, Ms. Wise is going to walk out of here not being found to be in contempt. Good to me. Appreciate it. Great. Thank you so much.